Breaking news. Get ready for mass protests. Yoruba Nation agitator warns Southwest governors over grazing reserves. Hello, my wonderful people. We've heard the president, Muhammad Buhari, who is only speaking. Buhari only speaks. And the only time he speaks is what concerns the Fulanese. He has agreed with them that um, he has to settle them before he leaves the post. That is the agreement he has with them. And um, every other thing is inconsequential. We have seen this country go from bad to worse before our very eyes. Good luck, Jonathan was not good, but he was better. I can assure you. We are not rooting for him. We are not saying he did well. However, he was better. Things were not as bad. Good luck, Jonathan employed the activities and you know the, the services of those who we truly want, who we truly war against this uh, you know problem of bandits. And he was really winning the war until Buhari came and sacked them. And, you know, said that they were having a, rep a repentant program, which we all know that is not uh, any repentant program, that it is their own uh, way of keeping the food so they are soon they have sent. These were the very people he sent, you know, to start these activities. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Thank you. Breaking news. Get ready for mass protests. Yoruba Nation agitator warns Southwest governors over grazing reserve. Yoruba nation agitators and other pioneers of self-determination have threatened to embark on never seen before mass protest action in any state of the Southwest region that allow grazing reserves. The sectionist group under the umbrella of the Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination made this known on Friday in a statement titled Governors in the Southern Region that Welcome Federal Government Grazing Reserve should prepare for a never seen before mass action. The body which has Professor Banji Akinto as the chairman and Tony Nedi as Secretary General says governors in the region should watch for a never seen for a never before seen mass revolt of the people should any of them as give an inch of their ancestral land to the central government for full and headsmen grazing reserves the statement reads in part we also urge governors within the territory to respect the wish of their people on the issue of grazing reserves being planned by the central government for Fulani headsmen. For the avoidance of doubt under the Land Use Act of 1978, all lands in Nigeria vers in st state governors who hold the same in trust for the people with the possible expectation of the Federal Capital Territory. The Federal Capital Territory have nothing to do with land use. The Federal Government of Nigeria does not own any land upon which it can establish grazing routes. It follows that any governor in the Alliance Territory who sees any inch of the land of the Federal Government in the name of the grazing route will be doing so in the bridge of the trust in which such land are held and worse still in defense of the overwhelming will of the people. We say with all sense of modesty, with responsibility that the grazing route is an attempt towards grabbing our ancestral land through back door, which must be rejected by all means necessary. This is not a threat, but a piece of advice. Any governor who decide to give our land to the central government for full and headsmen grazing reserves should be ready to face the routes of the people. Such a governor should be ready to answer to their people on why the rights of the people are being trampled upon and their land allowed to be invaded by a group that demonstrates that all they do is kill and take over ancestral lands of people. Such a governor should know that why the NINAS movement for self-determination is peaceful, this continued penetration of, to kill most who, of whom are being brought in outside, from outside Nigeria, seizing ancestral land of ancient lands to result in such mass peaceful action that may run the state of its fundamental human rights, we will not allow. So this is what is happening. People are rising up and saying, no way, we cannot allow this to happen. We cannot. These are some of the activities going on. These are some of the he evil happening. You see, so this is what is going on. People are rising up and saying we cannot allow these things to happen. We can't. We can't allow these people to come 
and take over our land because they say they, 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 they are Buhari's people. This is wrong. And what is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. When it's wrong, it's wrong. Let's call it the name it is. What is wrong is wrong. So these things are happening. We are all watching it. But how do we solve? How do we, how do we retrace our step? How do we sort out this evil? How do we sort out this problem? How do we sort it out? Because the current evil happening is not acceptable in any way, form or kind. We can't allow it. So whose land does Buhari wants to take and give to the Fulanese? Whose father's land? Whose land? This is why governor, you know, we need to start speaking for Governor Samuel Otomo. Everybody needs to start speaking for him. Everybody needs to stand up for that governor. Am I saying it's perfect? No, that's not what I'm saying. This man is one voice, one lonely voice who is speaking for the people. This man is that voice who is saying what is happening is an oppression, an agenda to take people's land. We must not allow it. He, he sees who Buhari is. And that's why Buhari does not like him. And that's why Buhari continue, you know, to use every kind of tactics. These people, you know them. These Fulanese, they are not peaceful people. They, they have no regard for life. It's not a, it's not a propaganda to, to, to wash them down. Or to, they don't have a regard for life. Do you know how many they've killed? As far as little children. In Ondo State, the other day, two little children was telling an aged woman that will slice your neck. That's what she told her. When she saw them, you know, they found children rearing cow, and, you know, uh, leading cow in Ondo. And so this woman saw them in her land and she was talking to them like children. Say, and they said, we will slice your neck. That's what she said. The two children under the age of 12. So why are they speaking like that? It's what they've heard their people say. It's what, they, it's what they've been saying inside. That this is what they will do to the farmers. They have to take over the land. And they are coming from all over West Africa. Because they've been told that Africa belongs to them. You are not. You don't know what's going on. They've been told that Africa belongs to them. So they are rooting from every corner, coming from everywhere to come and claim land that is not theirs. So that's why they want people out so that they can take over. That's what they are doing. They want people out so that they can take over. That's what they are doing. That's, what, that's the plan. That's what they are doing. But God will not allow them. Even when they defend less, you know, a cow that has no tea. Now God, they help and they drive fly. Eh? Even cow will not get it. God, they look after and they help and how much more human being. May we ask God for help. Oh? Leave us a comment. We sincerely love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now.